My reaction is the same as everyone else though. Who the hell is Charles? I'm here today with Janelle Parrish, and Janelle, you have a pretty sweet gig, literally. I do, absolutely. I mean, look at this. Everyone's having so much fun. <laughs> um, it's actually National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. Which I did not so know. I, and I'm very happy because they're, I'm combining two things that I love, which are Pop-Tarts and peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when you were a kid, did you have a specific way you like to eat Pop-Tarts? Like, do you have any Pop-Tart recipes or well, hacks? my favorite was always the brown sugar cinnamon, and I had to have them toasted. It had to be warm in the middle. It's kind of my favorite on set snack on Pretty Little Liars. And then you get that kind of like late night sugar rush to oh, keep you going. Oh, it's great. Absolutely. For night yeah. shoots, it's perfect. Now, okay, speaking of Pretty Little Liars, <laughs> whoa. I know. <laughs> so when did you find out that Mona was actually alive? You didn't know all no, along, No, I had no idea. You? No, Marlene is a little trickster, man. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she told me a week before we filmed the finale. Wow. And I was very happy um, because that means I get to be on set more and working exactly. with my favorite people and my favorite character. And, um, yeah, my, my reaction is the same as everyone else, though. It's who the hell is Charles? Yeah, I think that's what we're all wondering. And we're all going to find out, because now we just started filming season six, so I'm starting to find out who Charles is, and it's going to be amazing. Yeah, really okay. Crazy. Well, I know that Marlene does not tell you guys a lot. No, she doesn't. So, do you guys kind of sit around and formulate your own theories, like, behind We do. The we definitely do. We're all like, wait, what do you think it is? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, as we get the scripts, we start to find out some things, so I think season six is going to have a lot of answers. Yeah, and of course, we had you with a very different look. On yeah. the finale uh, as well. What did you think of the, no it was a wig, the blonde, right? But I should never be blonde ever. It was a wig. <laughs> it was a wig. And I just think with my coloring, blonde is just not my look. So you were never going to consider dyeing? Not it. ever. Especially now, after I've seen it, I was like, oh no. no, no I no. thought it looked cute. Oh, thanks. But my you look mom, good as a brunette, too. My mom was like, you look like Beyonce. I was like, mom, I love you, but I do not <laughs> look like Beyonce. It was a little creepy paired with the mask, I have Everything to say. Everything about it was creepy. Yeah. They also colored in my eyebrows to make it look more blonde, mm -hmm. which I think I had the most problem with. When she put the wig on, I was like, oh, that's weird. And then she started coloring my eyebrows, and I was like, no. <laughs> Who is this horrible. stranger? Yeah. And of course, the big question now, I think, is what has Mona been up to this whole time that everyone thought she was dead? Yeah, well, she's been locked in A's dollhouse the mm -hmm. entire time. And wow. when she gets out, she's going to have severe issues. Yeah, I'm sure all of the girls All of them are going to have issues in their own way. They're going to try to deal with it. This is not at all what I thought it would be. He has a soul. Well, and what's the craziest fan theory you've ever heard? Because I feel like the fans get really carried away. <laughs> I heard away. a really funny one the other day where she was like, basically we are A. The audience is A. And we wow. are doing it to the girls. By watching them every week, we are torturing them and feeding the fire. So, so the end of it is going to be Spencer holding up a gun to the camera and shooting it and then the TV's gonna turn off and that's how we die. That's how A dies. And I was like, wow. That's very interesting. That's super involved. That is very involved. And I did read an interview where you said you as a fan of the show kind of come up with your own theories sometimes. Do you have like a Charles theory? I, I definitely think he's a dealer Laurentiis, but I happen to know that it's not <laughs> what it seems. Okay. Right. You're at the point now where you know too much I know to now. say anything, I know too right? much. It's, you guys will find out very soon. Okay.